In this video, we are gonna show you why pickleball is taking the world by storm. Let's check it out. I'm here with Ida and Beth, and Beth has organized this amazing new group called Ladies Fun Day Monday, and she's going to tell us about it and why she decided to start it. Well, part of this, of this group is we started just uh, last summer, and most of us were new to the club, new to the area, and we really didn't know people so we needed to network and we started with four people and our four people grew to eight people then it grew to 12 people and now what there's up to 60 we have over 60 people that are we part don't of this play group at the same time but it's amazing it's amazing she organized this whole thing <laughs> right what do you think Ida you have a fun time with this oh I love it I haven't you know it's just I look forward to Mondays every Monday to come here and play yeah it's social it's relaxing there's no pressure right exactly we get to play <laughs> Uh, or practice those elusive shots that um, make us crazy that we can't do all on a continuous basis. Yes, exactly. definitely. Well, thanks for organizing this. I can't wait to get out on the courts. We're going to jump out there and play with everybody and come along with us. And guess what? I found my friend Nancy and she plays pickleball avidly. Basically runs around different places, can play two to three times a day. So what tell, what made you decide to play pickleball and why do you love it so much? Whoa, Nancy? okay, so I retired from the corporate world and I go, what am I gonna do next, right? And I was always pretty active in sports and I heard about this sport called pickleball. And I have to tell you, it takes you on an incredible journey. That's right. Through physical activity, mental well-being and it's just a fascinating sport thanks nancy for that i love it i can't wait to go play on the court with you let's oh, I know. go thank you <laughs> oh, I love my friend So we're here at Wingate Ranch, which is a private court, and there are private courts in many communities around Scottsdale area, and it's really nice because you can play with your friends, the same group all the time. You can reserve the court, and you can practice your dink shots or your third shot drops, and just have a really great time, and the mountains are just gorgeous. So we're, again, come and join us. We're gonna go step out on the course and play a little more pickleball. Here we are at Thompson Peak Park where I first started playing pickleball because I went inside where they have clinics and you can take classes for beginner all the way up to intermediate. And if you're ready to come outside, we have six courts right behind me here, which are great because they have a new shade here and you can just have your water bottle nice and cool, hang out with your friends because this is a drop-in place where you don't have to have a reservation. Just hang up your racket, um, your paddle actually, that's tennis when I used to play tennis. Um, and uh, you wait your turn and it's great and you have so much fun and then you can come in the evening as well because they have lights. So this is an awesome time here. Come and let's go check out these courts. So here I am with Garnet and he's here at Horizon Park with me and he's going to tell me why he loves playing here at Horizon Park and just playing pickleball in general. What makes you love this, this sport so much? Well, I, I actually used to play professional hockey so since I've retired it's kind of hard to find a little bit of that competitiveness that I'm used to. So I started playing pickleball at a home court which was great until we sort of got sick of looking at, at each other so to speak. <laughs> but uh, and then I heard about Horizon Park and, and came here and, and and uh, found that the level of competition was really good and there was always someone to play against. You never had to worry about 
one of your friends being late because something came up or whatever. So the drop-in play is excellent here and people are very friendly. And they, if you're new to the area or looking for somewhere to play, everybody's really great, great about sort of showing you the ropes and getting you worked into the rotation and, and it's what easy to... What about the level of play here? What are the, um, you know, would you have to be a 4.0 or like, what's the numbers? <laughs> you know, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. I mean, you, you can find a little bit at every level. I'm gonna say uh, probably if I, put an average on it would be like a maybe like a 3.5 okay. 4.0 somewhere around there yeah and then anything above that you're probably seeing those players a little bit less often but they do come out and and you kind of have to maybe get in there and introduce yourself and get yeah. yourself worked into one of those games if right. you're if you're up for a beating or something yeah. like that. <laughs> that sounds great. Well, thanks again for um, popping in and giving us a shout out about how great it is here and it was great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks everybody. So here we are now at Shoya Park, where everybody's already in play. We have got intermediate players here and beginner players having a great time. There's drop-in play here, so no reservations. Come on over, bring the kids. There's a wonderful playground out front, and there's gorgeous mountain views. And if you can't get here in the day, you can always come up till 10.30 at night where they have the nice lights on the courts for you. So let's go play some more pickleball. So if you're in the market to get a brand new kitchen, give me a call, I'll help you out. But remember, when you're playing pickleball, stay out of the kitchen.